is different from meditation. Mindfulness, how many times we hear this word every day? Maybe hundred times. Be mindful if you are careless. Be mindful of eating. Be mindful of talking. Be mindful of the breath. It is easy to say to be mindful instead to live in the state of mindfulness. I think for the last uh, three or four decades, mindfulness seems easier than what we call meditation. Otherwise, both are essentially same. I'm not saying it, but the traditional wisdom that lasted for 6,000 years sees it, confirms it, and uh, defines it. What we are talking about and what is the literal meaning of Mindfulness. Uh, is it fullness of the mind or something else? <clears throat> uh, if it is emptiness of the mind, then it is meditation. As both the words points to the same state of being. How mindfulness is related to inner peace and happiness and awakening. There is no doubt about it, it is one of the most important applied Eastern wisdom. Let us understand with uh, uh, its a uh, little bit of history and uh, the way the mindfulness being used in the Western but one thing to be sure that the meditation and the mindfulness convey to the same and one state of me. Maybe we use the term mindfulness because it appeals to the people, because they think it is different, because Many people like to market the mindfulness as a journey of doing nothing or effortlessness. For effortless, for effortless journey, modern masters and the teachers, scientists and researchers make extraordinary effort in, in pointing how they define mindfulness, not how it is defined by those great teachers. And when we define mindfulness based on our understanding, our belief, our rationality and reasoning, then it simply means that we have lost touch with the Eastern wisdom. However, everyone gives credit to Buddha, no doubt, it has to be given. But they try to prove that Buddhism is not a religion, hence anyone can practice it. What about computers, phones and other gadgets? There is no tag of religion. Similarly, there is no tag of any religion in any practice of mindfulness and meditation, it's basically a technology. We raise doubt about it. We continue to keep the doubt and later we try to prove it that it is not a religion. 
So there are few points that needs consideration and contemplation. Who like to treat the part of mind for this? First question comes: What exactly is the meaning of the word mindfulness? Uh, does the English language has this word? And if it has, what is the meaning? Is it different from the word meditation? And then what is the reason of mindfulness and meditation? <clears throat> this mindfulness as a word existed in English language. There are different words like mindfulness, mindful, mindfully, and also the mindiness. So how the English language define this? In early 12th, 1200, almost uh, 900 years back until 700 years, it was defined as to remember, to recollect. And this mindfulness came from the Latin word, from the word men to mind to mindful. But in 1500 BC, it means be careful to take care of to look after and mindfulness meant in those days of good memory of recollecting something or someone there were also other meanings like keep in mind retain in the memory retain in the memory what we have learned pay attention to it then mindful Ness is different as a meditation practice. Later in 1840 or 1845 until 1945, there was a scholar of the Sanskrit language in the Pali language. Name was Thomas William. He translated the seventh of the eighth whole part of mindfulness. You cannot attain uh, the perfection in the state of the mindfulness unless we follow the first six noble path. So he defined sati as the seventh noble path. And in Sanskrit, it is known as Smriti. Both literally means memory, recollecting, self-remembering. So therefore, he concluded, it is right mindfulness. And later, John, Daniel John, uh, Daniel John Gingerly in 1845 clear further with reference to the Eastern wisdom. So instead of meditation, he replaced meditation with the word mindfulness. But he clarified that the mindfulness is correct meditation journey or a practice. Uh, we talk a lot about the origin and we go to the monasteries, learn something from one school, one type of mindfulness and declare as if we follow the tradition. We will understand this. We we understand this by a few examples. There was a master, Kapila, 
he was a great master and uh, whose text is available who lived almost 2000 years before Buddha was born he explained meditation as dhyanam nirvishayam mana when the mind is devoid of all the contents it is meditation is it not mindfulness and after Buddha, there was another master, the father of the Eastern psychology, who explains empathy, the content of the mind, is meditation. That is mindfulness. And if we combine the understandings of these two masters with the teachings of the Buddhism, the way the, we use the term mindfulness, it means the same thing. So first thing, mindfulness, meditation are synonyms. Meditation may have some active steps. Any active step means when the mind makes an effort in the beginning, and then it becomes a focus. There is another type of meditation that may be understood as a passive meditation. Where we don't ask the mind to do anything. We, from the very beginning, we go beyond the mind. Take a simple example. Your car breaks down. And you put the car on a trailer. And the trailer takes your car to your home. Passive. Car is not doing anything. And you drive the car to reach to your home. So the car is making an effort. But in both the cases, you reach your home. And uh, home in mindfulness meditation is our real self and the discovery of inner peace and happiness.